Hi, this is Mrs. A of Math A Matic. In this video, you're going to learn about combined variation. So from the title itself, combined, in the past videos, I have uh, direct, inverse, joint variation. Pag hindi mo pa napanood, pwede mong panoorin para mas madali mong maintindihan ang combined variation. Let's get started. So, the different types of variation. I'm going to have a short review of this. We have direct vari variation, which is the equation is y is equal to k times x. k is the constant here and k should not be equal to 0. For inverse variation, y is equal to k over x. Take note, the variable x here in verse is on the denominator. And then the joint variation, we have y is equal to k times x times z. Now, when we say combine variation, it means that we're going to mix, we're going to combine any of this variation here. It's either direct variation combined with inverse variation or direct with joint or inverse with joint, something like that. Now, let's practice first on how to write the equation. I have here S varies directly with X, which means S is equal to K times X. Y varies directly with the square of X, means that Y is equal to K times X squared. Y varies jointly with R and S. It means jointly, this one is the uh, equation, Y is equal to K times R times S. And Y varies inversely with R. It means Y is equal to K over R. Okay, that's how you're going to write the equations of these different types of variation. Now, oh, I have another one here. Q varies inversely with the square of R. It means Q is equal to K over R squared. So now I'm just going to write or uh, place the equation for the different variation here. Now, what is combined variation? Combined variation is sim simply a combination of different types of variation. So, that's, as what I've said, a combination of either, either direct or inverse, or direct, joint, and direct. So, let's have an example. Y varies jointly with X and Z, and inversely with R. So, Y varies jointly with X and Z. It means that it's on the numerator y is equal to k times x times z. And inversely with r, inversely, the variable should be in the denominator. So it should be divided by r. Okay, that's the equation. Now, let us solve. If y is equal to 18, when x is 5, and z is 2, and r is 5, find y when x is 6, Z is, Z is 1 and R is 4. Simply, you're just going to substitute here. But you need to solve for K first. So what is Y? Y is equal to 18. K, X is 5. Z is uh, 3. And then divided by R, which is 5. And this is equal to? 18 is equal to k time, 5 times 3, that is 15, divided by 5. And that is equal to 18 divided by 3, because 15 divided by 5 is 3. And that is solving for k, which means we are going to divide both sides by 3. And that is 18 divided by 3 is 6. k is equal to 6. Next is to find for y. So now, you have the value of k, 
which is 6. You have the value of x, which is 6. You have the value of z, which is 1, and the value of r, which is 4. So just substitute. This is first the equation, then substitute all those values. So we have here 6 for k, 6 for x, and z for 1, uh, 1 for z, and r is equal to 4. So 6 times 6, 36 times 1 is still 36 divided by 4, and that is 9. So y is equal to 9. Let's have another example. So we have here y varies directly with the square of x. Again, directly. So this is the equation. So y varies directly with the square of x. So that is y is equal to kx and inversely with, inversely with z. So divided by z. Okay? But take note, square of x. So x squared divided by z. This is now the equation. So that's the first thing that you need to do is to write the equation. Now, you can now solve for the value of k and the value of y, the second set of values. So here, you're just going to substitute the value of y, which is 8, and x is equal to 2, and square that, and z is equal to 4. And that is divided by 4. So here, 2 squared, that is 4 over 4. So simply this one, this is now 1, and that is k is equal to 8. Now, you have now the value of k, and you can now substitute in the uh, formula to solve for uh, y. This is the formula that we are going to follow, or the equation. So y is a known. So y, k is 8, and x is 3, and z is 6. So that is now y is equal to 8x squared. And divided by z, which is 6. Sorry. Here is, this is 6. So we have 8 times 3 squared divided by 6, and that is equal to 3 squared is 9, and 9 times 8 is 72 divided by 6, that is equal to 12. That's the value of y, 12. So let's have another one here. We have y varies directly with q and inversely with the cube of s. So, dito pa lang tayo. r varies directly with q. So, ibig sabihin, r is equal to k times q. And inversely with the cube of s. Inverse, dapat na sa denominator. So, that is s cube. Now, we can solve for the value of k. By substituting the value of r is 10, q, I mean, q is 4, and s, that is 2, but you need to get the cube of that. So that is 10 is equal to k times 4 over 8. If you want to reduce the lowest term, this 1 by 4, this is 1, 8 divided by 4, this is 2. Or 1 half k is equal to 10. And then, the uh, cross multiply to solve for k. Pwede mo cross-multiply ito. 10 is equal to... Hindi lang maayos yung pagkasulat para mas makita nyo. Okay. So, understood there is a denominator 1. Which means that here, 1 times k, that is still k. 10 times 2, that is 20. So, that is k is equal to 20. Now, That what is now the equation? R is equal to 20, which is the value of k, q, divided by s cubed. And then we're going to substitute now the second set of uh, given. 
What is R? R is 5. S is 3. And we are looking for Q this time. So 20Q divided by 3 cubed, S cubed. So 5 is equal to 20Q divided by 27. And then you can reduce the lowest term. Or you can cross multiply para mas mabilis muna. Solve for Q. Understood there is 1. Here, 20Q times 1, that is 20Q. Then 27 times 5, that is 135. And that is now equal to Q dividing both sides by 20 to solve for Q. Okay, Q is equal to 125 over 20. And Q is equal to 27 over 4 in lowest term. Okay? So that's how you're going to solve. this. You, not always that you are going to solve for... Uh, same variable. Pwede yung ibang variable naman ang nawawala. Hindi lang laging y. Okay, that's all for this video and thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye!